177. <laughs> Got you 22 yards on a seven iron. Put him in the bag. <laughs> Such a nice ball fight. How do the new tailor-made QI irons perform compared to my P770 P7MC combo? Let's go find out. You're all warmed up. Do you need to hit any more? I, I do kind of right. want to see a couple numbers of <laughs> okay. seven yeah. iron, then we can start talking QI, okay. and then I'll actually transition back into long irons from there. Let's Just go. give me a couple good swings with seven iron, we'll see what you're, you're looking like. How do you like that flight? A little high draw, is that kind of what we're usually going for? Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Uh, probably say I'm slightly pulling them. That's probably my bad shot, Flacco. I mean, one, 153 carry. We're all normalized right now, so 159 total. Is that pretty, pretty accurate? Or, yeah, yeah. Okay. That was a bit thin. Let's compare it to QI, because I want you to kind of experience what Bovi yeah. and the guys were talking about this morning. Um, obviously, story is, is straight distance. Um, it's, it's optimizing the entire club, so we're no longer kind of designing a seven iron and copying paste through the bag like some some companies tend to do this is like seven iron is strategically mm -hmm. optimized from the face to the speed pocket to the toe wrap construction to the cg profile all the way down through four iron is going to be you know launching higher than the rest of the clubs so i do kind of want to at least compare yeah. your seven iron so you can see it, it might not be you know, where we end up, but it's good to kind of have a frame of reference. From a design, you know, game improvement iron, um, but the look, sound, and feel mm -hmm. of a more aspirational looking iron. Um, so, you know, monochromatic story similar to what we get from the player side, as opposed to like all these color pops that, you know, this player needs help in their game, but doesn't want to be told yeah. that they're playing training wheels. So it's a really good looking iron. You'll see some more offset. On this, obviously, compared to your MC, you'll see a thicker top line, but I'm really curious to see actually how it performs for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna get up and go. It's probably gonna be a little too far from a gapping perspective. We'd probably need to blow up the bag and start all over again <laughs> if we ended up putting you back here. But not to get ahead of ourselves, I actually think this might be really interesting for you at you the know the four the iron. Yeah, yeah, the top of the bag. Um, if we kind of optimize that loft, you might see some more offset, but I think we might get a little bit more punch out of it mm -hmm. to help you transition into, you know, your five wood yeah. from there. So put a couple seven iron swings on it. We'll see where we're at. We do have select fit, which will help us optimize some loft and lie angles. Um, because I know that this thing is going to come out high on you. <laughs> um, it's actually stronger loft, but the way the CG profile works, it's actually going to get up and it looks really halfway. good from the back, doesn't it? Like it does. Starting the golf bag. Yeah. And you, what's, you really what's can't cool, tell it's like a game improvement club all, to be honest. And what's really cool is we put chrome plating on this one. Yeah. So life cycles on irons, depending on the product and depending on the golfer, we're probably looking four to six years. So what you see in a lot of game improvement products is those things start wearing in the bag quickly. And so by putting plating on it, it looks premium on the rack, mm -hmm. but it's going to hold up as well like you know your hundredth round with that thing it's still going to look just as clean as it does there so to your point like really clean looking iron um doesn't really you know yell that it's that's a game improvement product even though it's designed for a game improvement player so put a couple of swings on it we'll see where we land see how much we'll, distance i can get out of this yeah <laughs> it's gonna be hot i'm excited Quite a bit thin. It was thin. How did it feel? Pretty good to be fair. The height was like still the same as mine, even yep. though it was like right off the bottom of the club. <laughs> good one. That felt fast. That went loads higher. 177. <laughs> Got you 22 yards on a seven iron. Again, don't know if you need that. Uh, it's low spin, it's 5,100. Um, ball speed clearly jumped. You're 109 ish. That was 116 ball. Spin rate dropped 5100. That's obviously going to be due to the stronger loft pack package, but like probably this... not as much as you expect though, relative to like the amount of no. yardage again. No, and like with with MCs again, weaker loft, but it's also designed like that player wants the yeah. ball to get up and kind of like hit that ramp a little bit. This one is just like dead into the wind, like it'll fly forever. Um, 93 feet, like it's still you know, 86 feet with stronger loft, like you would think that it would be 
you know, coming out lower. But again, this is this is an iron design to get up and go. Interesting for now. <laughs> I want to see you put a couple more swings on it. And that was dead straight. Like, yeah. you know, more upright. Your MCs are two degrees flat. That's standard line, a oh, game improvement really? product. Traditionally, that should be going left. way yeah. left on you. But this iron has been designed that that's not going to be the case here. We I, want that yeah, straight distance. Yeah, I can never normally hit standard. Yeah. Lies straight. I'm really not helping by my bad shots, so pole theory oh, here. No. <laughs> yeah, I don't see this pole coming <laughs> in play here. Maybe I should say I'm scared of the pole rather than my bad shots. Of the pole. Good swing. Solid. I always do this. Like you go and hit game improvement clubs, and then you think this is just so much easier. <laughs> yeah. Like why? We we see that a lot. That's exactly why I want to kind of see this at the top of your bag mm -hmm. too, because under pressure, like you know, that might be something that you can grab and go mm -hmm. to like whether you're going into a par five whether you're going off the tee like you know you can get away with it no matter <laughs> where you're hitting on the club face and it's still going to feel solid it's not like you're hitting a, a kind of clicky product like oh, this no, is yeah, still going to sound not. solid and like you know if you even if you get away with kind of a miss on a four iron you're in the middle of the fairway your confidence is going to be up to hit that second shot anyways like even if you know, you didn't exactly pure it. It might feel like you did, and that confidence is going to help you on your second shot, too. Yeah, it's not good when you hit four iron for safety and then not on the field. Yeah, yeah, you're trying to <laughs> intentionally lay up, and then, like, you catch it thin, and you're like, why did I lay up then? <laughs> are you California-based? We are, yeah. Is that why you've got so many layers on? It looks like we're from different climates. I know, here. seriously. <laughs> I, I saw you, like, getting warmed up and, like, shedding layers. I'm originally from the Northeast, so, like, I really should have some thicker blood to get away with this, but... California has, has softened me up a little bit. Now I'm like five layers deep here. <laughs> oh. This is okay. I actually kind of like seeing, you know, what's, what's interesting for, for me, I'm a big feel player and like mm -hmm. top line and turf interaction is huge for me. So if I actually see a thinner top line and a thinner sole, then I feel like I can get down into the turf, which is- I, I always actually... say this and I always get told off because I'm like, if I have a thinner sole, I strike it better. Mm -hmm. Just feel like I'm gonna like hit the bigger sole against the ground yep. for some reason. And it's like you're that bouncing into the turf. I mean, like you can see your divot pattern, like you're still getting into the turf pretty well. I guarantee you these are your MCs. Mm -hmm. Back here is a little bit more of your QI iron, but I totally agree with you. It, it might not, you probably can't prove it metrically, but <laughs> yeah. like I feel the same way where if I see a thin top line. I know I can get down into the turf and exit and it feels good. So again, not to get ahead of ourselves, top of the bag, I think you actually might really like this. Really good. That thing is way up there. Yeah. It just feels like it's and going it's forever. Low, it's low spin enough where you're going to like, even if you know, you're playing in, in England or you're, plan in Ireland like it's slow spin enough even when it's getting up in the air you're yeah. still getting the peak trajectory the wind isn't hitting it and well you can it see down. that because it's into the wind here it's quite good because sometimes you fit in flat calm weather and yep. then you get into the wind and it's like too high and you can't control it where yep. this is like fairly strong into the wind but it's like holding it's flying yep. and not spinning up too yep. much yeah I mean you're you're 171 total on that one 6,000 spin 47 degree land angle your mc was 49 yeah <laughs> so you're you're much higher up in the air but we're still landing at a really good number for you to hold a lot of greens so that knocking down that spin if you're playing into the wind it's still going to get through the wind but you're not sacrificing that land angle where it's just going to big bound and keep going forward i mean your mc your mc was 49 degree land this is 47 and a half. Peak here is 92. Peak on MC was 93. You could have a really weird combo set here, couldn't you? Where like you've got pitching wedge to seven iron and MC, a six iron and a seven seven, and then <laughs> a QI seven iron that's basically a five iron in your bag. A lot of people is kind of a hidden gem is a long iron in our game improvement line. Because again, when we go there, it'll be really interesting to see what you think about it but it's almost like a cheat stick. Like yeah. if you can, even knowing you're an MC player, having that in your bag, which is why we came out with the UDI DH line, because that club, I personally play a four UDI 
because I don't trust my 774 iron under pressure. It's like, I know I catch this thin, it's still gonna get up and go, mm -hmm. and it's gonna feel solid. So one more seven iron, and then I wanna transition into long irons. Put them in the bag. <laughs> it's such a nice ball fight. I really hope the down the line is justifying like this. Get a little shot traced on it. Lovely. <laughs> Do you trust your four iron going into a par five right yeah. now? Yeah. Generally, I would say so. Okay. And what is... Oh, on like, I think if you're probably on like a bad swinging day, I'd be like, mm, I don't really want to hit a four iron today. Yeah. But like in general. Would you go loft up to five wood, even knowing like you're like, all right, I got to take some off, but I know... Yeah, sometimes I'll hit five wood and just grip down. Yeah. Especially if it's a shot where I know I need height. So say if you're like hitting up to an elevated green or something like that. Yeah. And like short is dead. Yeah. Then I would go up to five wood. Yeah. Um, but obviously it's a bit flatter and there wasn't necessarily something at the front that I wouldn't worry about as yeah. much. Which I think that that's why this might actually work pretty well for you because it's designed to still get up in the air, even if it's a bad swinging day, mm -hmm. like you said. Like <laughs> we're engineering that flight of CG to be as low as possible. So even if you do catch it a groove lower yeah. than you want to, it's still going to get up in the air and actually spin a little bit more for you. So it's going to have a better peak height and descent angle. So wasn't it Nick Taylor who had like one of these like in on the PGA Tour? Yeah. Like, I mean, Harry Higgs is full set of 770s now. Oh, really? There's, there's a bunch of guys that are starting to your point. It's like, if you can be okay with the look, we know we took care of feel. It's a great looking iron. We've designed this so it still feels like a blade. Like even you said, it's like, more people that hit this every time I hit game improvement product, I'm like, why don't I play this? That's why, like, you start seeing better players grabbing the, mm -hmm. the long irons in this thing just for the confidence because you know you're gonna like the way it looks, like the way it feels, like the way it sounds. Now it's just like how convincing far it goes. them. <laughs> yeah, now it's just convincing them that this has a spot in your bag. I'm still not convinced your miss is a pull. <laughs> I think another big thing is like, especially at the moment in England, like it's freezing. Mm -hmm. So like a thinner forehand doesn't, doesn't go very far. What's your five iron now, distance wise? Uh, like one seven four. It's one nine four. So we're into your five wood now with your with your five iron. So again, we could, we would have the conversation about gapping all the way through the set. Yeah. If like you really like the way that you know, your shorter irons play in an MC, like we could find some homes here. Um, we could go weaker, we could get some, get rid of some of that offset for you. But like, you know, you hit two. First one was, A little okay, bit. okay. Yeah. Second one, 195, your first one, caught it thin, and you are 188. There's your confidence right there. Whether you're going into a par five or you're just going off the tee, like, if you don't catch it well, you're six yards apart. Like that's basically my five, so I've like got a much shorter shaft and can, in theory, control it more. Mm -hmm. Pretty interesting. We aren't even into a four <laughs> iron yet, and we're 195. <laughs> I mean, it's just automatic at this point. Really good. Do you want to hit one seven seventy for me, real quick? I yes. just want to see kind of your gamer, so we can do that apples to apples. Why am I hitting two flat irons further left than standard angles? Doesn't make any sense. It's a good, really good swing. Seventy five. So we got you ten yards between your seven seventy and QI. We got you about twelve feet higher mm -hmm. with QI with stronger lofts. So we could we could go weaker loft to get it even higher, which I honestly probably yeah. might do. With it being lower spin, then you can kind of control that descent angle a little bit better. Um, and you're gonna get through the wind with it being lower spin. So we haven't even had a conversation about four iron, but with five <laughs> iron, like it might be worth trying out for you. That day that you aren't feeling as as good, maybe it's, you know, Golf courses are just opening back up. It's still cold. Like you aren't trusting your game wholeheartedly. You might consider throwing in, even if it's just the four iron. Maybe it's the five iron. Maybe you have two five irons in the bag. One, one for off the tee or in the yeah, exactly. Like it, it sounds funky, but we could get, we could get creative with it, even if it's four iron and go weak. So you have like that four to five combo, and then go to five wood from there because this 
QI five iron was almost going as far as your current five would. <laughs> and and straighter. And straighter. And Without straight. a chest in the line angle, which yeah. is kind of blown We haven't even touched that bit. yet. Yeah. <laughs> and you haven't sacrificed feel, mm -hmm. wouldn't you say? Like, you know, it's game improvement product, but it doesn't, it's not feeling like you're playing something with training wheels at this point. Like, you like the look, you like the sound, you like the feel. Now it's like the performance a little bit for it. So could end up with a pretty funky combo set next year. What shaft do we hitting in these? So that's a KBS Max 85. So it's gonna be lighter than your um, your money taper lights, but with this with this iron, I would actually probably keep it the same way. So it's lighter, um, same flex, but kind of frees up some way to be lower to help with that CG. That's gonna go forever. One ninety six carry. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Yeah. That was two eighteen total. <laughs> three wood territory. Yeah. Here it is. I was actually running into three wood territory. <laughs> yeah. So again, we would we would have a conversation about loft profiles a little bit for you. Why is Hannah not carrying a fairway wood in twenty twenty four? Because she's got... <laughs> that QI iron. <laughs> Straight distance. A, a six iron, 770, and then a five and a four iron, QI instead of my fairy woods. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool. cool. Absolutely.